Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're gonna ride something different. Do something a little different. We're gonna be riding a Husqvarna MC4 Mountain Cross e-bike. It's a beautiful day here in Plymouth, Massachusetts. I'm actually on call for work, so I can't go far. I really wanted to ride this thing at like Diamond Hill, something a little bit gnarlier, but I gotta stay close to home because if they call me, I gotta go fly the friendly skies. So we're just gonna have some fun today on the Husqvarna MC4 Mountain Cross e-bike. I'm gonna see how many miles I can get on this thing. This has got a huge battery in it, um, the Shimano EP8 motor, but we'll go over this spec as we climb. So let's uh, go for a ride. <laughs> Always gotta stop my ride with a little jump trail. Finally, have the opportunity to ride a Husqvarna e bike. This is Dave's personal Husqvarna MC4 e bike. He's the owner of Hutch Motorsports in Rayham, Massachusetts. I actually went in there to get some knee braces and buy a dirt bike from one of my friends who was working on their, whoa, get it, get it, foundation. And I end up leaving with the e-bike too. Awesome. So thank you, Dave, for letting me borrow your personal e-bike, which is totally tricked out. And if you're interested in buying a Husqvarna e-bike, go check out Hutch Motorsports. Talk to Lori. That's his wife. I think she does all the financing and sales. And you can buy a gas gas dirt bike, Husqvarna dirt bike, or one of these sweet ass e-bikes. <laughs> This thing's a ride already. Dave has overforked it with a 160 Fox 36. Kind of custom built this whole thing. So he's changed out the fork to factory Fox 36. Orange. He likes looking factory, I'm guessing. Looks sweet. Just got some Industry 9 carbon wheels with the Hydra hubs. And this bike is a mullet, so real nice to get around turns already in this initial little section of trail here at Pine Hills. But I'm on a size medium and it's kind of like the sizing's the same as every other medium. Thinking like a 450 millimeter reach, uh, 65 and a half head tube angle, 77 degree seat tube angle, but it feels steeper than that. You're like right on top of the bike. Pedals really well for that. It's a horse link design, so it's quite active, but obviously you have a little motor assisting you <laughs> so it doesn't really matter as much but shimano ep8 motor i'll leave the specs here on the wattage and the volts and the torque i'm not really familiar with e-bikes all that much so i know it's ep8 motor and it's pretty quiet i remember riding the older shimano motors and they were loud but this one is pretty quiet not bad and pretty torquey I'm honestly just riding it in just trail mode too. It's just fun to ride right now. I'm having a good time just first five minutes of the ride. I mean, this thing seems like it's gonna have a big battery, so I don't know if I can outlast this battery, but I am on call today for work. So I gotta stay local, like I said before, and they call me, I gotta go fly the friendly sky. So I gotta go home and put my uniform on and bounce out of here, but I'm just gonna ride see how far i can go on this husky e-bike <laughs> uh, it's fun it's just when you're not expecting the little torque shove it just gives it to you i like full powered e-bikes better than the lightweight ones trail just everyday fun you know e-bike i think they make more aggressive ones more like your enduro um ones like the kinevo like just big mountain riding kind of stuff but this thing i could tell already handle a lot pretty 
But we're gonna transfer over here to Cross Stream Pine Hills and make some quick climbs. And so we can do a bunch of descents today, which is I'm excited about. So right now I just have the cross, hard cross and trail mode. And now I'm just screaming up this little rocky climb. Like I said, horse link suspension. So really active, I'm leaving it open right now and good traction. Uh, nice tire setup on this one. Adds a guy front, DHR2 in the back. And this wheel set I could tell is already super stiff. Industry 9 carbon hoops with their, you know, their spoke layup. I forgot what the name of it is. But the carbon with that spoke setup just makes for a stiff wheel, but which is good for an e-bike. Because you're pushing around a lot of weight. Forget this trail bullshit. <laughs> Boost time. Wow. Yeah, full, high, full uh, power e-bikes, way to go. <laughs> uh, I think we're gonna be doing a couple of laps today, boys. Well, let's see how this thing descends. First run. <laughs> oh yeah. God, this thing is stiff and stout. Woo! <laughs> it's different jumping on an e-bike. It's so heavy, this one. This thing's got to weigh like 60 pounds, if not more. But it feels good. It's so planted. <laughs> it's actually not that bad to get off the ground. Oh, God. Foot came out of the pedal there. Didn't want to hit this little drop. Let's uh, do that again. A little huck the flat. Yeah. Little step down, if y'all seen in my videos. <laughs> this thing is so planted. You can just nuke downhill on this thing. So Run it. Woo! -hoo. Whoa! -hoo -hoo. A little jump, double, whatever it is. So smooth. All these little whoops. Oh, this wheel set's so stiff. All right, where is the send? Right here. Oh, God. Whew. <laughs> that always gets me every time. First ascent in the books. I can tell you right now, initial impressions, like, <laughs> I see why a lot of moto guys kind of cross chain on these e-bikes. Cause I've heard from some moto guys, like really good moto guys. Um, it's not everyone, just a couple guys I know don't like riding just regular mountain bikes. Not because of, uh, you gotta pedal everything because they like the training. It's a great cross trainer for racing, you know, ride uh, mountain bikes. But it's the weight. So even big enduro bikes feel too light to them. So they don't like jumping on them because they kind of feel unstable. And I, I can see what they're saying because when I ride like a lightweight, you know, a top fuel or a cross country bike and you jump on those, you just feel like it's unstable for until you're used to it at least. This is a good like introduction into mountain biking for them because the weight the stability it still feels like a little like a dirt bike almost I mean obviously it's not 200 pounds or plus you know like my gas gas 125 or my God, I got too many dirt bikes uh, Honda CRF but you know it's a good hybrid at the top uh, yeah I think we're just gonna rip down that Fyro descent I just climbed up. Let's go. Oh yeah. Oh man. After, I can tell it's not giving me assistance above like 20-ish miles an hour. I'm pedaling right now and not giving me any juice. Because it's the category of e-bike it is, but let's go into party mode. 
Here's that water bar. Yee. Oh boy. Can't fuck him off the pedal. Get back in. Get back in. Yes. Get back in. Ooh, it's sandy. Flying. All that weight and momentum just screaming downhill. Super stable. <laughs> oh, this is sun. It's just fast. And that's pretty much it. It's quick. All right, so that fire road descent was fun. Uh, uh, I forgot how fun those are. So we're going to do another one called Enduro Bro. Starts off nice and steep, then kind of mellows out, but you can, if you pedal hard, you can keep some good speed. So I'm going to try out this Insta360 camera. Uh, it's the X3. They sent it to me to try it out and uh, I'll post it on my Instagram what this footage looks like. So go check out my Instagram at JC Trails. Um, yeah, see what it looks like. <laughs> I mean, I look like a complete dickhead wearing this thing on my helmet. Look at it. Thank God no one's around. But uh, let's go do it. Oh, bro. I haven't done this in a long time. Ah, bad line. Yeah. Oh. oh, sorry, Dave. Got a little chip of paint right here. Just paint. I think a rock flew up and just nailed it from the front tire. Put some touch-up paint on that. This is plastic, though. That's the door for the um, the charger to connect to the battery. Oh, it's wrapping too hard, man. All right, so it looks like we just. Drop the bar on boost mode, which is full power. Six miles in, 1,100 feet of climbing, the watch says. All right, I'm gonna put the little Teletubby camera back on. That's what I feel like I look like. Two. Three. These things on my helmet, the Insta360. Cool camera, but it just looks weird. I feel like a doofus. But hey, if it gives you good footy, who cares, right? Seen this trail one million times in my videos. This is where I bring a lot of the bike reviews. You know, just, just really good test for how the bike turns in tight situations. And all the mullet bikes have done really well. Because it's fast, it's flowy, smooth, little jumps here and there. This bike's is darty. Ah, oh, mud just slang up on my face. Oh, there's a dirt bike here. You see the ruts. It's as a guy tires, just flinging all sorts of stuff in my face. Rap.
we are seven miles in, 1400 feet of climbing. I've only used one bar of, on the battery indicator and we're in full boost mode. This thing is pretty sick looking, Focus. Uh, I love how Dave has upgraded all of it. Um, I think it comes with like a RockShox RL35, real base fork and like an inline RockShox base, maybe deluxe shock, but Fox suspension, all factory. I put my reverb on there cause he's waiting on uh, a piece for his dropper and he already upgraded the brakes, XTR, uh, four pot brakes. He just hasn't installed the back one yet in the Industry 9 uh, wheels. These things are stiff, but really good for an e-bike. I like it. This e EP8 motor, though, nice power delivery. I think it's pretty smooth. Um, not jerky on the pedals like some of the older e-bikes I've ridden. But uh, look at this day. Let me turn the camera around. Yeah, so there's the uh, MC4 Mountain Cross bike, or I guess it's Mountain Cross 4. And if you look carefully, there's Plymouth Bay. Right there pilgrims landed like right there on that sandbar maybe i don't think it comes on the camera but on the horizon i can see boston i don't think it picks it up oh you can see it there's boston the little buildings right there i love spring i just don't like the ticks I just found one on me all right so here from the top someone carved in a cool little loam slash rut track it, it's quick it goes quick but man it's fun to work on your turns on this thing so Let's go. Oh yeah. Yeah, lean that bike over, get those knobs in there. Nice to have the smaller back wheel. Pop the rut, crosses over another trail, woo -hoo -hoo. Definitely carry more weight around. You can feel it when you got to brake and then turn. <sighs> got to plan ahead a little bit more. I want to ride the inside rut. Rot. <laughs> Rot. Actually, it's, I'm riding the gas gas two stroke, so it's more like wing, 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 wing. If you guys made it this far in the video, please consider subscribing. Give the video a thumbs up. And if you guys ride moto, let me know in the comments below. What kind of dirt bike do you ride? What mods do you have on it? Thanks for joining me on my ride along aboard the uh, Mountain Cross with an MC4 Husqvarna e-bike. So right now looking at the stats, looks like I got 3,200 feet of climbing, 18.2 miles. I rode it in full uh, boost mode the whole entire time and I don't know if it comes on camera, but one bar left so I could probably do another three miles or so on it. So it'll call about 20 miles, I bet. Um, full boost mode thing is actually super fun um, I really enjoyed just wrapping on it uh, these industry nine wheels I think transformed the ride because these wheels are so stiff with all that weight on the bike including the rider it just held up it felt really good in the turns and and I, I do like the mullet setup for e-bikes it's pretty cool but guys if you're interested in getting one of these Husqvarna uh, e-bikes go check out Hutch Motorsports um, talk to Dave or Lori and hopefully they'll hook you up with a good deal. Just tell my sent you. It does help out the channel. I can create these relationships with these local shops um, to help you bring you demos or, you know, like this e-bike or maybe a dirt bike, maybe. But guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.